fill a pinch in a burn. Mm. There's the pinch. There's the burn. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me let him know what's that. Okay. Hopefully, does not have to be in that area any minutes. Yeah, you're gonna have to move. Okay. Do you feel that? A little bit. The pressure. What did I tell you? Is that what you just said? Nice being out of that apartment. Yeah. That was a pain to walk all the way. It's good exercise. Yeah. <laughs> it was bad on the cold day. Good way. You go in his house, you have a lot of walking to do too. <laughs> yeah. Cinco de Mayo party there. <laughs> and I went. And then uh, everybody thought I drugged them because I got too drunk. So Dr. Lee calls me and asks me if I drug people at the party. Oh my God. <laughs> like, no. You sure about that? They were drinking straight vodka all night. Straight vodka? Yeah. were hitting on me <laughs> while the husbands were outside. You're just too sexy for your good. Right. <laughs> oh, don't don't act like you didn't like the attention, Ron. Not from them. He was flirting with them. Let's see. We're loading you up here. Okay, you can lay in recovery. Stay there while I clean you up. It's gonna make me look just got done getting my testosterone pellets. Um, hormone replacement is a really big deal. Um, most people, you know, don't take into consideration how important testosterone replacement is. Um, some people do creams, some people do injections, some people do the pellets. The pellets last about six months and then Unlike the shot, like a testosterone sipinate shot, which people, doctors usually prescribe one shot a week or one shot every 10 days, you have an ester and it comes up like in peaks and valleys. So your mood and your the way you feel is kind of like up and down. So the pellets um, are uh, uh, bioavailable. Your body takes the pellets as it's needed. So the pellets sit there and as you use the testosterone, so someone that works out or is more, more active uh, burns the pellets up. So the pellets usually last about four months for me, for a normal person to last about 
six months. So you want to keep your testosterone levels on a normal high around um, 900 to 1,000. It used to be a lot lower, uh, you know, years ago than doctors figured out the healthy, um, you know, uh, range to keep your testosterone levels in. If your testosterone levels are too low, you're going you're gonna to have a low sex drive, your, uh, your bone density is not going to be good, you're going to have muscle loss, you're going to have low energy, you're going to have depression. So a lot of people, they're not, you know, there's, they don't really know much about testosterone replacements. It's not just for people who work out, it's for, you know, everybody. And I've seen people as young as age 20 with a low testosterone level. So I just got my pellets done. Um, when you get your pellets done, you can't work out. I think for about four days um, because it's an open wound so the pellets can slip out and you'll lose those pellets and then uh, you can't get submerged in water for a couple days but they numb me up pretty good as you saw and um, the, the pellets you start usually filling on within about four to five days and I'll have more energy and be in a better mood and uh, I prefer doing those over the um, testosterone sipinate injections just because it's more stable like that thank you guys